Hey, what's up, North47 here, and welcome back to the Golf Club 2019. Just before we get into the action out on the course today, I just want to touch on a couple of things really, really quickly. The first thing being the audio issues with the mic. I think I have it sorted now. I'm not 100% sure. This video, I'll, I'll obviously know before you see this video when I go back to edit it. But um, I've had the headset on charge for the majority of the day, so battery is 100% fully charged. Um, I don't, I'm not sitting too far, I pulled the telly again a bit towards me, so if it's not the other thing, or the battery, well then it might be just the, the distance range, I might start having to sit a bit closer to the telly, sit back on that coffee table and break me back again, but um, what I never realised with the headset, the headset that I've mentioned a few times which I use is the Turtle Beach Stealth 600, It act I only actually realised it earlier on today, is that there's actually no... Um, what's called the windscreen or uh, foam socket cover in the mic it's just literally the bare plastic bare plastic mic you can actually see the hole for the mic like there's none of that there's none of the little foam cushiony stuff covering it so I'm hoping that maybe it was that but as I say this video should hopefully tell me whether or not it was that otherwise again as I say it might be just just the distance that I'm sitting away in PS4 it might be just losing a little bit of signal um the other thing that I do want to mention again is like in the previous video I do still have that bad tickly cough so if the video suddenly goes quiet and goes at fast speed, I think the last video I did at times four, I sped it up. I will just do that where I do have a little bit of a coffin, uh, a coffin fit. I'll just I'll split the clip there and I'll just mute it and speed it up to times four, just so just so you don't have to suffer through that. Um, also, as well, just in the on the subject of audio, I do apologise for the last video. <coughs> um, I was kind of getting actually a little bit overpowered by the sound from the crowd in game during the round um i've gone i've gone into the settings and actually turned that was still up on 100 percent. so i've turned all the audio settings down to 50 percent now so hopefully i won't be getting as drowned out as what i was in the previous video but anyway all of that said and done and out of the way today we are in a, another society this is the facebook community club this is for the bear with me i always always forget if i can get my phone unlocked i always forget the full name of the uh, of the group for some reason um the golf club ps4 community page on facebook um now it is it is titled the the ps4 community page but i mean if you're on xbox or on pc do feel free to join we do actually have some xbox and pc players in there as well uh great community great bunch of people in there if you're ever looking for help or you want to see if somebody promotes their course or something like that you'll obviously still be able to play it on uh, xbox or pc so do feel free to join if you're not already in it um but we are going to be in that group society today facebook community club as i just mentioned we're going to be playing the omega european masters i don't know if we're still allowed to say masters anymore <laughs> but it's going to be the final round and it's at cran uh, as it seed first round i shot nine under and the second round had a great round of 14 under um the greens were actually on very soft and it's been a long time since i played very soft <clears throat> Uh, greens are usually soft is the the softest that they've been uh, but we're I was really able to stick those approach shots in nice and close uh, but for this third and final round anyway fairways are going to be normal greens will be firm green speed is fast and everything else is default and well we can't change it but we're going to be playing off the black tees and pin set three so I'll be back in just a second as we hit the first tee Okay, so here we are down the first tee at Cransor Sierra for the final round of the Omega European Masters. <clears throat> Hopefully things can go pretty well and not have a, <laughs> a, a terrible, terrible time like we did yesterday on hole 16, I think while I was picking up that triple. But opening tee shot is not too bad. I wasn't really wanting the fast. But it's safely in the fairway, or is it? No, it's not. Spoke too soon. <laughs> so off to a little bit of a rocky start here into the rough. But it's a decent lie anyway. 203, well, sorry, uh, that's my carry distance. Uh, 210, playing about 201 to the pin with that elevation. Call it 194 with the wind. So I think... Do I want to try... No, I think we'll, we'll just play it earlier. Yeah, we'll just play the 5-iron. We are coming out of the rough. I might lose a little bit of yardage with that if I don't hit it clean. Oh, and I got a slow down swing. So is that going to give some extra yardage? It possibly is. And it has. Touchdown at 206. That's running on. It's held the green though. Looks like we might be in the range of 20, 25 feet. 
24 so pretty good judgment there <clears throat> it's down a foot so i'm gonna actually pull that marker back to 13 and this looks like it's not gonna break too bad if i just get it close and i'll escape at the par green speeds are 187 as well speed that up because i can see it's missing also as well in the uh in the topic of audio with the headset i am also hoping again ooh, i almost flew that straight over the hole <laughs> but uh, i am also hoping um i have meant i did mention it once before it, it's very very annoying for me uh personally whenever i'm editing the videos and i'm listening back to it is i'm sure you are aware i i'll just take that swing first um i'm sure he's aware that i tend to produce a bit of a whistling sound whenever i pronounce any word with an S or a C or anything like that in it. So I'm hoping that maybe this little, uh, this foam socket or windscreen, whatever you want to call it for the mic, will help to at least muffle that, if not completely eliminate it, because it drives me mad whenever I'm looking back at the videos before publishing them for you guys. But anyway, moving on with the round 132, up 16, it's going to be playing about 137. Decent lie. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Out. Bring it back in about three or four just for the lie. Give it some D loft. Just as we are coming out of the rough. Looks good if it can kick a little bit right for me. No, it's on though. It's on. Not too far outside 10. I'd say about 12, 13 feet. 12 feet, so pretty much bang on there again. Um, Going to be playing about 16. Looks like it might be only about half out again. Gonna turn in, and it does. And I can already hear in the headset now <clears throat> a big, big difference with the crowd volume. I didn't really, I didn't notice it at all with the way that I have the volume set on the headset whenever I'm playing and recording. But unfortunately, when watching it back, I just, I was getting a bit overpowered by them. So 211, playing about 209. I'm definitely gonna have to play five iron here. Greens are firm and fast anyway. Oh. Kind of pulled, but it did come back in at the end. A little bit of a hook at the top of the swing line. And, oh, it still ran off the back. Still ran off the back, unfortunately. Oh, but can that drop? Oh, very, very close. Oh, if I can just stay... <laughs> Off one side, back on, then back off the other side again. So uh, a little bit of trouble here. I think we're gonna, definitely going to be taking a bogey. Just be a little more gentle with the chip shot that time. So we're going to drop back to even par, unfortunately. Let's make sure not to overhit it and go around the lip. But definitely not going to have as easy a time as in the second round, shooting 14 under. <coughs> I was just able to stick those stick those approach shots in so close. I should get over the tree here, no problem. Perfectly safe. So yeah, we'll speed that up and get it out of the way. And it leaves us with 185 down 11. So it's going to be playing about 181. Say about 174 with the wind. 174, 175. So definitely going to play 7 iron. I'll have 10 taps for the lie and the wind and I think actually I'll give it another couple I'm going to put some loft on it so I am expecting a little bit of a roll out oh now that I put too much loft on it kick onto the green oh, it's just going to hold the edge of the rough there bit of a bad uh, bad approach there for myself Oh, and I was a bit too aggressive on the chip shot again. I'm coming into this round a bit cold now. Uh, just took a few swings with the driver on the driving range before starting. Turn in, turn in. Oh, just about, just about turned that in there. <coughs> Sorry, that came across on the mic there. That was just me scratching my head. Had an itch right where, uh, right where the ear cup is. Decent tee shot. A little bit too much fade actually, but it is holding. 
So we're safely in the fairway. Leaving us 85, going to be playing about 88 with the elevation. Want to add on maybe 9 or 10 for the wind. So what does it say? 88, 98. So definitely going to be a lob wedge. We'll give it some D loft. Now, can that come back around? Oh, can I get down? Oh, that was too much D-loft. That is very, very long. Wind did not affect that really at all. Did not really affect it the way I thought it was going to. Um, this looks like it'll be a green line. Just time to get it close again anyway. Just outside, about one and a half. So I just have to readjust now for the 187s. But we'll stay at even par for now. Or are we still at even par? I can't remember. Did I get another birdie? No, we're still at even par, yeah. I'm losing track. We're only in the sixth hole and I'm losing track already. Um, now, previous two rounds I did end up in the rough. First round actually in the bunker off this tee. There we go. I was hoping to get the fast. I should hold it down the left side. I hope. Is it going to turn? No, we're going to just trickle into the edge of the light rough there, but that's nothing to worry about really. Um, pitch or flop. Pitch or, or chip or flop, should I say. Um, we'll go with a cheeky little flop shot. Oh, sit down. And that's the first flop shot of the day. Bad one. So, oh, potential. Actually, no, sorry, we're on in regulation, so I was going to say potential for uh, another bogey here, but I'll trace this one. And it looks about one and a half, maybe just inside it. Is it enough? Beautiful put, 18 feet in for the birdie, back to one under par as we head on to the seventh hole. Par four, 329 yards playing, only 299, 299 to the pin, uh, say 293 with the elevation and with the wind, I'm going to chance it, how close is that yellow line, that's not too bad, I'm going to chance it with a fast downswing, see if I can get on in the one, there's the fast, but a bit of a pull on it, it's coming well left, and that may kick into the bunker, will it, no it won't, but we are in the heavy rough, so it's going to have to be a little flop shot, I think, again. I don't feel comfortable taking chip shot out of the heavy rough. There we go, give it a proper little half swing. Can it run up? It does. That's not too bad. It's about six or seven feet. And six, that's not bad at all. Should be just outside that left side. And there we go. So, move to two under par. Now we're heading in the right direction. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not too bad this evening, the old tickle, but uh, I have had a few little cotton fits throughout the day, so uh, that's what I thought. I just mentioned that at the start of the video about doing that. Uh, but we've got 181, playing 185. Take off the 9 for the wind, it's going to be 176. Running downhill all the way. Well, there's a bit of a mound there. Um, 176. Firm and fast. I'm going to put a good bit of loft on this and just hope that I can carry to the top of that upslope and let it run down. Decent swing, but a little bit of a push on it, so it's away from that slope. Don't know where it's going to end up. We'll speed it up. Distance wasn't too bad. <coughs> but we have got a lengthy putt. This is definitely going to be at least one and a half to two out. I will trace this one again. Yeah, I'm playing that about two out there. So I gave it about a two and a half count. Is it enough? It looks good. Oh. Two and a half was just a slight little bit too much. But still, great effort nonetheless. And we do secure the par. Remain two under for now. <clears throat> so was that the... That was the seventh hole, wasn't it? Again, I'm losing track. Uh, that was actually the 8th, so ninth hole, can we finish the front 9 at 3 under par? 
gave it oh I was gonna say give it the fast and I get the very fast that is possibly gonna plug oh it didn't plug so that's not too bad but uh, definitely I think birdie is out the window oh well no actually sorry it's actually a par five pay attention Stephen pay attention um, how far up can I attempt this all right we'll try the four iron to there Got the perfect, perfect. Horrible swing line, but still, we're back into the fairway. <clears throat> Leaving us 120 up 26. So we're going to be playing about 129. Uh, so pitch and wedge. Let's put it out about 12. Bring it back in a couple for the lie. Um, a little bit of loft on it. I am expecting the wind to hold that up a slight bit. Not coming around as far as I thought it would, but still, if it can sit quickly, looks about 10 to 12 feet. Dead on 10. Do I want to try a half out? I'm going to be safe. I'm not feeling very confident actually now with the putts. Looks about three quarters. Looks good, and it is. So we do finish the front nine at three under par. Hopefully we can keep heading in this direction throughout the back nine and finish with a decent score. So currently only 23 under through two. Decent drive that time, that's not bad at all. Oh, but the wind is not bringing it back, that's wet. That's gonna be wet. Oh, is it gonna be wet? No, it's not. We're just in the heavy rough. Got a little bit lucky there. Just looking at the water and said that that ball has gone swimming. But this has got definitely going to be a tricky, tricky shot. And I think my golfer has broken ankles now <laughs> from the way he's standing on that slope. Uh, but 90 in, up two feet. So we'll call it 91. Um, I don't even know if that has me on a pitch shot. Actually, I don't want a pitch shot. I want. I want a normal, yeah. I think I'm just going to play full. Play a full sand wedge. Just get it on the green. Decent swing. Came up quite a bit short. Touched down about 82, but it's run out nicely. And again, it looks around about the 10 foot mark. Actually, it's nice and close. 7 feet, so this should be just pretty much a half out. Just be gentle with it, and we do manage to get the birdie there, so bit fortunate, a little bit fortunate after that bad shot off the tee into the rough, but we did manage to somehow salvage the birdie of it. Um, so 2.14, this is going to be playing about 2.10. Um, firm and fast, I think I'll just play 5 iron. Not too bad of a swing. All about the run up now. Oh, and that's run up very, very nicely. It can stop any time at once now. I'll we'll speed it up. But again, it looks like it might be just inside 10, and it is at 8 feet. Um, I think this would be more 3 quarters just going by where the ball initially is. Good guess, and in for another birdie. Move it to 5 under par. So we are, again, as I always say, I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, but we are heading along in a good direction. We've got seven holes left to play. <clears throat> um, yeah, this is definitely going to be two wood off the tee. Not too bad of a swing. It's holding nicely. Shouldn't kick right if it does. It won't be too aggressive. Very, very subtle. And we have been left with 131 in, down 35. So we're going to take 12 off that. That's going to be 129, 119. Add about 9 on for the wind. Is going to be 128. So I think about half, three quarter loft, hopefully, on the pitch and wedge. Keep it pretty straight at it. Very nice swing. Bordering towards a slow down swing. Actually, I was a bit lucky there. But I am happy with that. A little bit too much left, but otherwise it's still a very good approach. Comfortably inside 10 feet again. Um, sitting on some left to right. Very, very slight right to left. But I think I want to go left of the pin. 
Good call as it did shift over there a bit to the right there. I think I might have just lipped it if I had it kept it straight in the centre. <coughs> but we moved to 6 under, 6 to play. Par 3, 13th. Uh, 205 up 25. So that's going to play 213 to the pin. Now with that wind, we have got a little bit of a safety net behind the pin. I will play... What did I say? It's going to play 213. Five iron's actually not looking too bad. Although it is up a... I am adding on an extra eight, isn't it? Well, it's up 25. I'm adding on an extra eight. I think I'll actually just play safe. And just play the four iron. Oh, but I didn't want the fast. That's... I don't think that little safety net is going to save us. No, we are off the back of the green into the light rough. <coughs> but stroke index of four. You need to play it well if you want the birdie here. Oh, I was a little aggressive on that chip. Needed to sit. Uh, that's not too bad. About eight to nine feet, maybe ten. Should be just outside. And scramble the par. So, moving on to hole 14. Holding fairly steady now at six under par. Would like to get a, at least two or three more birdies on the scorecard, though. Good drive. Should be safe in the fairway. We'll let it play out anyway. And that's nice and safe. So we'll speed it up the rest of the way. <coughs> Excuse me. So 279 down 48. Um, it is reachable. So we're going to take 16 off that. That's going to be 273, 263. Okay, it is definitely, definitely reachable. Um... Just have to be very careful with the swing. How are we looking water-wise? We should, yeah, no problem carrying the water directly in front. Just do not want to hit a slow. I was just going to say to myself, now that I've said it, I probably will. That's still really coming around quite a bit for a 6 mile per hour wind. I didn't pay attention to the ball lie. But it has made its way onto the green. And that looks like it's going to be 20-25 feet for an eagle. If it sits there, it has. 21 feet up four so i'm gonna play in about 27 um i think i think i'll trace it put that flag in that to me is playing one and a half give it a three count oh just a little bit firmer Need to be just a little bit firmer on that one, and it can stop if it wants. There we go. So a little bit of a knee knocker now to try and get the birdie, but there doesn't look to be too much break. Very minimal, let's say left edge. All that line, and we do get the birdie and take it to seven under par. With I think it's four to play again. What hole are we on? <laughs> I need to pay attention. Four holes to play, seven under par, so not too bad. Okay, right edge, fast downswing. And a horrible swing line to go with it. But it's still there. So 229, up 42. We'll add 14 onto that. It's going to be 239, 243. Um, yeah, I think we're just laying this one up. No, sorry. Um, yeah, 239, 243. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll just we'll play... Give it double the wind strength out for the two for the five wood, um, and I'll hit a fast downswing. Pulled it, coming around way too far. If I didn't pull it, that was looking very good to be nice and close. <coughs> that was looking good. So sand wedge, uh, yeah. I'll give this full loft and a full swing, and hopefully it sits fairly quick. Decent tempo. Oh, don't come back. Don't come back. Sit there. Uh, about 12, 13 feet, I think. 11. Not too bad. Uh, and on 7, is going to be playing about 18. Shouldn't be too far out. Give it the 2 count. And here we go. Okay, so got lucky there. Got the birdie. Um, would have been nice to get the, uh, get the eagle, but unfortunately, as I said, I did just pull that one and it came around a bit too far. 
in combination as well with a right to left crosswind. Uh, 243, going to be playing about 252 with the wind. Okay, definitely going to have to play 5 wood again. But perfect, perfect should be comfortable at getting on the green. Oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Nope, it's in the bunker. Was hoping it would have carried just another three, maybe four yards. But not to worry. Let's put a little bit of loft on this one. Oh, fast downswing. I think it's actually helping me. No, it's not a sap fairly quick. Another tester now to just save par and not drop a shot looks like it'll be about green line so we'll just take a guess at that one one and a half count it's oh it's tracking is it ah just a little bit firmer or a little bit further out so we're gonna drop back to seven under par it looks like seven under par at best provided i make this one oh my god that lipped I was a fraction of a second too firm. That's, that's a double. That's two rounds in a row. And 16th hole again. <laughs> Never mind on uh, number 13 being unlucky for some. But number 16 seems to be a bit unlucky for me now the last couple of rounds. So, dropped it back to six under. Oh, right. Need to do something now with these last two rounds. And that's not a good tee shot, I don't think. Oh, where's it going to kick? Where's it going to kick? Going out in the fairway. Light rough and just creeps back into the fairway. Very lucky there. Okay, so we've been uh, we've been spared. Spared there. Let's see what we can do. This is going to be playing about 7, or sorry, uh, 67 with the elevation. So definitely, it's running downhill. Yeah, sand wedge, definitely. I think a little bit of loft as well because I'm sitting on a down slope. Decent swing. Gone a little bit further right than I thought it would. But we'll speed it away. Hold on. No, I thought it was going to... Just I sped it up there. I thought it was going to turn a little bit more aggressively. But it rolled out quite considerably. More than I thought it would. And I think I'll go green line with this one as well. Um, Playing 721. Yeah, that's right. Give it the two count. Oh, is it good? Is it good? Oh, just. I thought it was going to die right on the edge of the lip there, but we just crept it in. So we do manage to get a birdie there and take it back to seven under. Can we bring it back to eight under now on this final hole? We'll go at the fast again. Oh, I pushed it this time. Not get my thumb right on the stick. Hands are a little bit sweaty. So I'm going to slip it off the stick as well a little bit. Ah, and that's gone down. Is that heavy or light? Heavy or light? Of course, it's the heavy rough. It's always the heavy rough. And it looks like, let me pull that back. It's about <laughs> it's about a half a roll into the heavy rough. Um, 120, going to be playing about 126. Going to have to play at least the 9. This is a risky, risky shot now to try and get over. 77%. Um, do I actually even want to go 8 iron? I'm going to trust, going to trust, we'll try a fast downswing as well, that the 9 iron will carry the water, otherwise we are in a world of trouble. Nope. Is it getting? Oh, it is. For a second, it didn't look like it was going to get it, and it's getting a good run as well. That's not too bad. That's not too bad from where we were. I am more than happy with that outcome. Leaving us 22 feet for the birdie. Bit of a double break, more aggressive on the left to right for the second half, so I'll go about here about half out maybe a little bit more actually it is quite aggressive no nope, that's turning way more that was actually that was actually one and a half nearly two out that was so hopefully we can just scramble the par here and we do so keep it at seven under for this round that should give me a 30 under finish for the event if my maths is correct, and it is. So just myself and Tutman have played so far. Uh, can't remember how long is left on this event. Um, actually, I think it runs until the weekend. What? Actually, no, sorry, what day is today? 
today is Thursday. Yeah, I think it runs until the weekend. I think it runs for a few days. I actually cannot remember. Didn't make note of that. But we'll close it out as usual on the scorecard. So two bogeys. Again, I have to start practicing my 16th holes. Uh, that seems to be, as, as I did mention, a bit of a bad one for me over the, uh, this round and the previous one previous one being a triple and then a bogey as well on the third hole but otherwise fairly decent round not too bad could have been better in places but uh seven under will have to do 30 under for the event i'm pretty sure that score is going to be destroyed but i'm going to leave it there it has been the final round of the omega european masters at grand sorcier in the facebook community club i hope you did enjoy the video if you did make sure to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe as well if you haven't already and make sure to click that bell to keep yourself notified of all future uploads from myself and as always until the next one take care have yourself a good one and bye for now